Hello, awesome readers. Today we're going to be reading "Be Strong" by Pat Sitlow Miller, illustrated by Jen Hill. I am taking all book requests. If you have a favorite book that you would like me to read, please send me your request. My email will be posted in the description below. My school gym has tall walls. I never noticed them before. But today I have to climb them. Kayla scrambles to the top like it's no big deal. When she gets there, she laughs and flexes her muscles. I don't reach the top or laugh. My muscles keep me stuck at the bottom. I'm not strong. Some days I can't even lift my backpack. Other days, simple things seem too hard. My family says being strong gets you through life. When hard times happen and things don't go as planned, so I ask, how can I be strong? Dad says being strong means showing up, like when our neighborhood wakes up early to help people who have lost their homes. We're tired, but everyone packs and carries. We collect clothing, cots, and cans of food. When I see how we can help, I don't miss sleeping in. Mama says being strong means speaking up, like when she sees a corner that needs a crossing guard. She asks city leaders. They say no, but Mama knows she's right. She talks to friends and neighbors, even the mayor. Then asks again. Grandma Z says being strong means not giving up, like when she started running. At first, she barely jogged a block. She worried people would laugh, but she keeps going, day after day, block after block. Even when it rains, I want to be strong. So, like my dad, I show up and explain our math packet to my friends, just like I promised. Even though it's a perfect day to play freeze tag outside, like Mama, I speak up when I see kids looking lonely at lunch. I want to help. I think of an idea and tell my teacher, the principal too. Then we make a special table so no one sits alone. Some kids say it's weird, but that doesn't stop us. And like Grandma Z, I do not give up. The first time I play my accordion, it makes screeching sounds. My ears hurt. My eyes water. I don't think I'll ever get it, but I sign up for the talent show anyway. And each time I practice, it sounds a little more like music. Dad says being strong means knowing you can make things happen and turn nothing into something. Like when I want to dress up as some of my heroes, I decide to reduce, reuse, and recycle. So I look around and use my imagination. It's harder than buying a costume, and it's not perfect, but I make this happen. Mama says being strong means moving forward. Tiny steps are fine, she says. As long as they take you in the right direction, when I decide to write one hundred thank you notes to strong people, it seems like so many, more than I could ever do. But whenever I give one away, I'm closer to my goal. Grandma Z says strong people care and sometimes cry. They help people and let other people help them. 
That's why when Kayla offers me a hand, I take it. I don't reach the top, but I get higher than before. So I say, I am strong. And when I'm not strong enough alone, I can be strong with someone else. Like Grandma Z and me, when we each take a backpack strap, flex our muscles, and lift, together we'll keep going strong. Until everyone is showing up, speaking up, and never, ever giving up. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that we can read together again.